to 88. Agreed? 88 is some is 7. Agreed? This is also 7. What is 7? Seven? 7s are 49. What is 4 plus 9? 13. What is 1 plus 3? The digital sum in the question is 4. So it should be 4. 7 plus 5, 12. 12 plus 8, 20. 2 plus 0, 2. 7 plus 6, 13. 13 plus 8, 21. 2 plus 1, 3. 7 plus 7, 14. 22, 2 plus 2, 4. 15 plus 8, 23. 2 plus 3, 5. Digital is a concept which helps in eliminating the wrong assumptions. Right? There might be a doubt that is lingering in your mind. What happens where more than one answer option has the same digital sum? That will be our third problem. Is it clear? Please take a note of this. Sir, where all it is you? Mathematics without numbers is like well without water. So, wherever numbers are there, digital sum can be used. Digital sum is an elimination method. Digital sum helps, yes sir. Which depth? The logic. Step number one, 88 whole square. Just look at the screen and listen to me. 88 into 88. 88, what is the digital sum? 8 plus 6, 1 plus 6, 7. Another 88 also 7. 7, 7s are 49. 4 plus 9, 13. 1 plus 3, 4. Digital sum in the question is 4. Answer also, it should be 4. Answer also, it should be 4. Now, going ahead, once you understand all the concepts, you will understand, you know, how to eliminate it. The, right? Two more examples. See here. 14 whole cube equivalent to. 14 equivalent to. 2544, 2644, 2744, 2844. One more example for the price. 14 whole cube is, again see the board, those who have not understood. 14 into 14 into 14. This is 5, this is 5, this is 5. 5 into 5 into 125. 1 plus 2 plus 5 is 8. Digital sum in the question is 8. Answer also, it should be 8. 7 plus 8, 15. 1 plus 5, 6. 8 plus 8, 16. 1 plus 7. 9 plus 8. Right? 17. 1 plus 7, 8. Right? It goes back to what I said at the beginning. You can cross the answer is right or wrong by using which concept? Digital sum. Clear? Clear this side? Right? Next one. Now, this question, just the screen and try to say the answer. 96 into 97. 9112, 9212, 9312, 9412. Right? 96. Very good, this side. These are 6, these are 7. 6 7s are 42. 4 plus 2 is a 6. 12 plus 1, 13. 13 plus 2, 15. 1 plus 5, 6. Clear? Yes, that is my next question, my dear friend. Please take it. Eighty-eight square equal to same question. Seventy-five forty-four, seventy-six forty-four, seventy-seven forty-four, seventy-eight thirty-four, seventy-seven forty-four, seventy-eight thirty-four. Someone from this side asked me what happens when the digital sum. What is the digital sum we got here? These are 4. These are 14 plus 8, 4. These are also 4. Am I right? So, this is an example. Now, before discussing how to eliminate, we discuss one concept. Please write down a question. Is 0, 20, 35719. Yeah, perfect. Is 95020 35719 a perfect square? 95020 35719 a perfect square. Now, just look here, it's a very interesting problem. This number is ending with which number? 9. What is the least natural number on square? I will get 9 at the end. 3 square is 0, 09. 7 square is 13 square is 169. 17 square is 289. Now, let us go back to what we started. 
a plus b whole square. That is nothing but a square plus 2ab plus b square. 2ab is the middle term. Any number multiplied by 2, it becomes an even number. To get, if I square a number, to get 9 at the end. Digit of any number has to be either 3 or 7. Do you agree? 3 square is 9 or 7 square is 49. 2ab is even. b square will be either 3 or it will be 7. I will write down the unit digit like this. 7 49. I will write 9 and 4 I will carry. And I will logic. 2ab is even. 4 is also even. If I add two even numbers, I will get an even number. Any perfect square ending with 9, tenth digit has to be even. Correct? Any perfect square ending with 9, see the observation, 93 square is 86, 49. Understood? 87 square is 75, 69. Any perfect square ending with 9, tenth digit in motion. What is the tenth digit? So answer is no. No. You might ask me, sir, is it always that if the tenth digit is even, then it is may or may not? Is it a perfect square? 49 is a perfect square. Is 140 perfect square? No. That also we will discuss. Don't worry, we are moving from one level to another level. No one sitting in the class will get a doubt. I will give you the complete knowledge. Is it clear? Clear? Just to add to that question. 88 square, 5544, 7644, 7734. What is the unit digit after squaring a number? 4. What is the nature of a perfect square ending? 8 square is 64, 6 is even. 12 square is 44, 4 is even. 92 square is 84, 64, 6 is even. Any perfect square is 4, tenth digit has to be even. According to the fourth option, what is the tenth digit? 3. Please eliminate. Please eliminate. Now, idea is to intervene all the concepts. Idea is to intervene. Sir, what happens even the tenth digit? Then you got a generic method how to find out the square of a number. Eliminate. Eliminate this option. Right? Now one more example I will give you. Sir, I might not be able to express everything onto the screen. Verbally if I am explaining any important point, please make a note of it. Right. Now, if I were to ask you one more question, please tell me the answer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 6. A perfect square. This number is ending with which number? 6. What is the nature of a perfect square? 4 square is 16. 16 square is 256. Right? 14 square. What did you understand from these three examples? Any perfect square ending with a 6. Tense digit has to be an odd. But it is even. Answer is no. Answer is no. Clear? Answer is no. See, max is very fun and it is interesting. Only thing is that, see, this was one of the questions. We had a campus recruitment project in uh, one of the colleges, SJBIT. Now, this was the question which was given in one of the campus recruitment. Please take down this question. 31x plus 30y plus 29z equivalent to 366 x, y, z are natural numbers. x plus y plus z equal to how much? 9, 10, 11 and 12. 31x, yes, that is the catch. 31x plus 30y, we will take 4 to 5 questions which came in the CRT papers so that you will understand what is being tested. It is very important for every one of you to understand no software in fact, no company in the world wants students who belongs to the hereditary of Ramanujam. They are not looking out for students who are exceptionally good in mathematics. Given one hour time, can you solve the questions? Are you good in selecting the questions? Are you good in telling that, oh, this question is difficult? Because tomorrow, as you proceed in an organizational ladder, there are some times where you need to make choices in your organization. There is where why you need to make the decision making. Are you at an initial stage, how comfortable you are in decision making? As we rightly said, now if you see, idea is, there are certain months which got 31 days, there are certain months which got 30 days, there is one month which got 29 days, that means one month, that year will be a leap year. In that leap year, how many days are there? 366, totally how many months are there in a year? 12, that is the catch. Idea is to look beyond mathematics. Even though it seems to be an algebra based question, it is way of using calendars in this question. Now, I remember some students, sir, 
Does the February has 30 days? February has 30 days in a calendar known as Julie calendar. Almost all the questions that are there in NCRT, CBSC, ICSC, all the competitive examinations, we use a Gregorian calendar where February has 29 days. Julian calendar has February 30 days. Please make a note of it. Julian calendar has February 30 days. If you go to Wikipedia and find it out, there is one story where he actually adjusts First question clear? No. Second one. No. See here, if x power 7 minus x power 3, we are discussing a number tree. Most of the students, they, you know, they will not understand the importance of number tree. Why the faculty is discussing even number, odd number, all these concepts, you will understand it. See here, x power 7 minus x power 3 is 3, 4, 5, 1, 3. x belongs to natural number x less than 200, how many values x will take? Please write down this question. x power 7 minus x power 3 is 3, 4, 5, 1, 3. x belongs to natural number x less than 200, x equivalent to. Or number of values x will take. Number of values x will take. Number of values x will take. See here, any Indian student you ask this question, the first thing that what he does is, x power 3 will take common in the left hand side. What if the right hand side is a prime number and it is of 7 digits? And you need to find out 3413. That is not the intention of asking the question. Please remember, understand the domain. What is domain of x? It is a natural number. If it is a natural number, x will be an odd number or x will be an even number. Do you agree? Odd number power any number, it becomes an odd number. Minus odd number power any number, it becomes odd minus odd, it becomes even. Even number power any number, even, minus even number power any number, it becomes even. X is a natural number, that means odd number or an even number. Odd minus odd is even, even minus even is even. Right hand side definitely it should be an even number. What is the right hand side? Answer is no value of X. X. Beautiful question which explains the importance of number tree. Number tree. Go through the basics. Basics, if you are good, rest everything is... See, I completed my engineering in 2004. Those who are from computer science engineering, I still remember the entire Alfred of Holman. Lexical analyzer, first unit, syntax analyzer, second unit, semantic analyzer, third unit, intermediate code generator, fourth unit, code optimization, fifth unit, sixth unit, various types of... Equivalent to 3, 4, 5, 1. Same question. X belongs to natural number X less than 200. X equivalent to how much? You understood? I just did a counter argument to the question. What is my previous question? Right hand side is an odd number. I said right hand side has to be an even number. Therefore, the answer is no. But here the right hand side is an 3, 4, 5, 1, 8. It's an even number. Now, how to solve this question? x power 7 minus x power 3. Listen carefully. x is a number. Number will have a unit digit ranging from 0 to 9. Do you agree with me? 0 to 9. Take x cube takes x power 7. x, what is the unit digit? It can be can start from 0. 0 cube is 0. 0 power 7 is also 0. What is 0 minus 0? It is 0. Unit digit in the answer right hand side should be 0. If x is 1, 1 cube is 1. x power 7 is also 1. What is 1 minus 1? 0. If x is 2, x is 8. 2 power 7, 128. Again 8. Right? Again 8 minus 8, 0. If x is 4, 4 cube is 64, 4 power 7 is also 4, 4 minus 4 is 0, x is 5, x power 7 is also 5, x power 7 and x power 3 has the same unit digit, do you agree with me? If the unit digit is same, this is x, this is x, what is x minus x? 0, but what is the unit digit in the right hand side? Answer is 0, answer is 0, answer is 0. I will try my level best to not to go beyond 4th class, 5th class NCRT textbook today. I don't know mathematics, I will go with the simple plain concept. Is it clear? Right? Now, next point, please write down. Application of a digital sum in compound interest. It's a very, very important concept. Application of a digital sum in compound interest. Most of the students find it difficulty. First question, if amount is 62. R percentage is 18 percentage. Equivalent 
into 2 years. P equal into how much? D is in compound interest. Options are first option 4000, second option 4200, third option 4500, fourth option 5000. Clear? Now please see, I will do two problems. Third problems you need to tell the answer orally. In compound interest, what amount, amount equivalent to P into 1 plus R percentage power N. So this will become 6960 equivalent to P into, can I write it as like this, 118 by 100 whole square? Agreed? 118 whole square is how much? 13924. If you are comfortable, please go ahead and solve it. Another method is 6962, what is the digital sum? 6 plus 9, 15. 15 plus 6, 21. 21 plus 2, 23. 2 plus 3, 5. 5 equivalent to P into 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 8, 10. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 square is 1 by 1. Is it clear? Find out the digital sum of every number. Right? Now plug in the answer option. What is the first option? 4000. What is the digital sum of 4000? 4. What is 4? 1s are 4. Is 4 equivalent to 5? 6, 4. 4,200, 6 ones are 6, 6 equivalent to 5, no, 5,000, 5 ones are 5. See, it is a, it's actually this competitive examination is a psychological game. The students, examiners generally try to show their intelligence by creating some wow questions. Even I created 10,000 questions, I am telling from my own experience. When you create a question, once you get the answer, you spend about 3 Creating a good question, you spend about 30 to 40 seconds in creating the answer options. Examiner strength is preparing the questions. Students are preparing for examinations. You are should be attacking the questions using these answer options. Clear? Right? Don't worry, by 3 o'clock you will understand. I will just give you a framework. You need to put it in where it works. Clear? One more question. Amount of percentage. Amount equivalent to 54,880. R percentage equivalent to 40 percentage. N equivalent to 3 years. P equivalent to how much? 18,000, 19,000, 20,000 and 21,000. Those who have not followed, see the screen. Of the students, please go ahead and solve it. Amount equivalent to 1 plus R percentage power N. 54,880 P into 1 100 power 3 9 plus 16 25 plus 5 7 1 plus 4 5 5 cube is 125 125 is 8 Any doubt? P substitute 20,000 If I substitute 20,000 it will become 2 2 8s are 16 What is 1 plus 6? 7 Clear? Doubt? Right? This is a 7. 145. 5 cube is 125. 1 plus 2 plus 5 is 8. 7 equivalent to P into the answer option 20,000. 2 8s are 16. 1 plus 6, 7. Right? Next question. Drop your pens. Just see the screen and tell the answer. Let me complete the question. Principal equivalent to 20,000. R percentage equivalent to 10 percentage, N equivalent to 3 years, amount equivalent to how much? 25,520, 26,620, 26,720, 26,820. No, ah, second. Clear? Right? This is 20,000 into 110 by 100 power 3. 2 8s are 1 plus 1. 2 8s are 16. 1 plus 6, 7. Answer has to be 7. 8 plus 8, 16. 1 plus 6, 7. Right? There will be a doubt. Sir, in some of the books, I have CI approximation. In some books, it will be written CI approximation. Does this concept hold good for approximation? Now, if you see 1.3. I am approximating it to 2. 1.3, what is the distance sum? X. 3. This is 5. This is 7. This is 9. There is a 6 digit number which starts with the leftmost one. That number is multiplied by 3. I will get another 6 digit number ending with 1. Find the digital sum of X. See here. 
the beauty about this question is the question can be solved in three methods first method and the best method please listen carefully what is the digital sum of x 1 plus a plus b plus c plus d plus c e. what is the digital sum of y same digital sum of the question should be equivalent to digital sum of the answer first if i substitute 3 3 into 3 9 is 9 and 3 same no 5 into 3 15 15 is 6 6 and 5 same no 7 3s are 21 2 plus 1 3 is 3 and 7 same no if i substitute 9 9 into 3 9 into 3 is 27 what is 2 plus 7 9 9 and 9 same in other words any number multiplied by 9 or multiples of 9 digital sum will always remain 9 that is the divisibility rule of 9 12 nines are 108 1 plus 8 9 18s are 216, 2 plus 1 plus 6 is 9. Which number multiplied by any number will give me the same digital sum? That is 9. So answer is 9. First method, playing by using the answer option. This question is actually a fundamental rule of the divisibility rule of 9. Clear? Right? Now another method. Now see here. Concept clear? Sir, most of the techniques which I am discussing today, you will not find in any of the NCRT, CBSC, ICSC books. Please pay attention. If something is there, please meet me during after the class and clarify your doubts. Now, see here. What I am doing is, I am writing 1 by 7, 2 by 7. This is an another beautiful example of how to use percentages. Another method to solve, 4 by 7. This is a 5 by 7 and 6 by 7. Now please look at the board. 1 by 7. To convert any fraction into percentage, I need to multiply by 100. Agreed? If I multiply by 100, faculties will write of 2 digits. I am writing remain 4 digits after dot. Why I am writing, you will understand in the due course of time. How I got 14.2857? Multiply 100 by 7. 100 divided by 7. 7 14s are 98, 20. 7 2s are 14. 14.2857, it is clear, right? 2 by 7. Now, I am telling you a mnemonic. Mnemonic is a way of remembering the things. 2 by 7, take the numerator 2. Multiply by 10. 2 when multiplied by 10, it becomes 20. How many times 7 goes in 20? Maximum 2 times. Where is 2 here? Here. Write down how many times it goes in 20. 2 times. Write down the next digit, 8. Dot the remaining digits, 2, 8 over 5, 7. If it is over, come friend. 1 by 4. 3 by 7. What is the numerator? 3. Multiply by 10. 30. 7 goes how many times in 30? 4 times. Where is the value? 4. Write down how many times it goes and the next digit. Dot. What are the remaining digits? 8, 5, 7. 7 over come front. 1. Tell me the answer for 4 by 7. 4 tens are 40. 7 goes how many times? 5 times. Answer will be 57.1428. Tell me the answer for 5 by 7. 50, 71.4285, 6 by 7, 85.7142, write down in the way you understood it. Once you are comfortable, it's a very famous Fermat theorem. If P is a prime number, 1 by P is a recurring decimal with a factor of P minus 1. That you don't need it, just write down. Please write down in the way, sir, please don't write down answer options. If you write the answer, there is a good probability that you will call me because we don't have a habit of reading every day. That is a sin to us. Write down in the way you understood it, whether it is Kannada, Telugu, Tamil, Malayalam. Write down. I want you to understand it. Maybe I will pick out some random students at the end of the class and I will ask what is the concept. I am not worried about answers. You need to tell me the concept. Clear? Right? Now, if you see how this concept is helpful in solving the previous method. Shall I go ahead? Right? Now, please observe this value. Please see this method, sir. Method 2. Can I say this is a 60 digit number with the leftmost one? 1 by 7 is multiplied by 3. It becomes 3 by 7. 
it became another six digit number where the leftmost one became the rightmost one remaining five digits are same is it not our question one followed by a b c d e into three is a b c d e ending with one what is the digital sum one plus four plus two plus eight plus five plus seven 12 plus 8, 20, 20 to 26, 27. What is 2 plus 7? 9. Understood? This is nothing but our question. This number is multiplied by 3. I got this number. Right? Please write down. Right? See, once you are good in concepts, you know how to connect the dots. It's just a matter of connecting the dots. So, this is the question. Right? See, once you understand, I'll... Can I go ahead? Clear? Now, if you see... Yes. Suppose if you see... Now, I'll write down in a new slide. If you see, this is the question. 1 A, B, C, D, E into 3. This is nothing but A, B, C, D, E 1. This is the question. 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7 into 3 is a nothing but 428571. This is nothing but 1 by 7. Eliminating dot. This is nothing but 3 by 7. That means it is multiplied by 3. Understood? Right? Now, see, this is the... Now, if you see, please write down next one, how to multiply. Because I want to tell you that once you know concept remaining, how to multiply numbers, Ending with 5. How to multiply numbers ending with 5. How to multiply numbers ending with 5. Right? Now, please see first here. This is something every one of you should be knowing. What is 45 into 45? 5 fives are 25. Add 1. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 fours are 20. This is something which you know. Anyone knows why are we adding 1? Right? We will see the proof. See, 85 into 85, just I am buying this logic. What is the answer? 5 fives are 25, 9 eights are 72. Am I right? Now, the story does actually be the derived concept. It is derived from some other concept. Please see that concept. 73 into 77 is there. If I observe, there are two common analogies. What is 3 plus 7? 10. What is 5 plus 5? 10. Same method. 3 7s are 21. Add 1. 7 plus 1, 8. 8 6s are 8 7s are 56. Suppose 86 into 84. What is the answer? 6 4s are 24. 9 8s are 72. First write down, sir. Then we will increase the level. That means these logic holds good under two conditions. When the left hand side place is same, when the leftmost digit is same and the sum of the remaining digits is 10 power k. Sum of the digits is 10 power k. Sum of the digits is 10 power k. 10 power k. Adding one, we did not discuss the logic, we will discuss it. Why are we adding one? Right? Can I, now, please tell me the answer for 92 into 98. What is the answer? 8 twos are 16 and 9s are 90. Agreed? Let us increase the level. Let us move from level 1 to level 2. Now, if you see, see here. 296 into 204. 296 204. I need to multiply. See here, leftmost digit is same. Agreed? What is the sum of the remaining digits? 100, 100. So, same method. 96 fours are 384. How many digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. But I got answer how many digits? 3 digits. Add a 0. Then in, add 1. 3 twos are 6. Why are we adding 1? We will discuss. Same method. Now, please see one more example. 3992 into 3008. 992 plus 8. Again 1000. Multiply 992 into 8. 16. This is 73. Right? 7. 72, 79. Am I right? 
exclude the digit that is common 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I got 4 digits. Add 2 zeros. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 3 is 12. 992 plus 8 is 1000. Am I right? Multiply 992 into 8. 8 2s are 16. 9 8s are 72 plus 1, 73. 9 8s are 72 plus 7, 79. Other than the leftmost digit that is common, how many remaining digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But I got answer how many digits? 4 digits. So add 2 zeros. Add 2 zeros. Again I am repeating, this logic should be your secondary method if you got the answer option. First method. What is the first method? Digital sum. Again see here. Please see digital sum. What is 3 plus 2? 5. 5 plus 18? 23. 2 plus 3? 5. 5 and 2. 8 plus 3? 11. 5 plus 2? 10. 10 is 1. Answer digital sum should be 1. 6 plus 3, 9. 9 plus 9, 18. 25. 27, 28. 2 plus 8, 10. 1 plus 0, 1. You can cross check the answer you got by using digital sum. Keep, keep it in mind. Wherever numericals are there. Now, please tell me the answer for this question. Please don't use pen, sir. 497 into 403. Right? 200291. Is it clear? 97 plus 3. 291. 1, 2, 3, 4 digits. Place 0. Clear? Let us increase to level 3. See, good thing, good part is that students know how to multiply the numbers ending with 5, but they don't know the application. That is the problem. Now, if you see, please listen carefully here. 15 into 15. What is 15? 15 is 225. 25 into 25, it is 625. 15 into 25, it is 375. Now, if you observe one very good logic is derived from this one. Number is ending with 5. What is one odd number? Odd number ending with 5 into odd number ending with 5. Or 2 is an even number. Even number ending with 5 into even number ending with 5. What are the last two digits? What are the last two digits in both the cases? 25. When an odd number, 1 is an odd number, D is not 0, D is odd, into even 5. What are the last two digits? 75. Please make a note, we will use it. When two odd numbers ending with 5, or two even numbers ending with 5, last two digits are 25. Other than the case, odd into even, even into odd, last two digits is 75. Last two digits is 75. Last, huh? 15 into 15. See the about two, three examples. 5 is there. What is one? Odd number. Odd number into odd number. What are the last two digits? 25. Even number into even number. What are the last two digits? 25. 1 and 1 are both are odd. 2 and 2 both are even. 1 is odd, 2 is even. Clear? Now we will see its application. Odd into odd number ending with 5 into even number. Last two digits 1. You have taken down this note, sir. Now, let us take problems. Then we will go and see why we added 1. Find the last two digits. Find the last two digits. Last two digits for 1113 into 3275 into 53845 into 53845 please look at the board these examples then slowly I'll increase the difficulty is this number odd number or an even number odd number ending with 5 into again these and 3279 odd number ending with 5 5384 it's an even number ending with 5 odd into odd into even 5. Again 2 is an even number. Even 5 into even 5. What are the last two digits? 25. Agreed? Please make a note. Now, see, if I try to intimidate you with this question, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 5, power 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 5. Last two digits. See here, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. It's an even number. Even 5 into even 5. 25 
into even 5, 25, into even 5, 25, and so on up to infinite terms. What will be the answer? 25. Once the logic is clear, question becomes easier. Clear? Right? Now it goes back to our fundamental question. I want to discuss why we added one when we are doing. Is this clear, sir? Now, see here, you are going to help me out with finding a phi into b phi. Both a and b are even. What are the last two digits? When both a and b are odd, 25. One is odd, one is even. The number before, if I calculate, it will be given by the notation a into b plus a plus b by 2. A plus b by 2. If you get a decimal, please ignore the decimals. D is nothing but integer function. Now see here, 35 into 55. Please listen carefully. Odd into odd. What are the last two digits? 25. A into b. D is 15. A plus b. 8 by 2, 4. 1, 9, 2, 5. One minute. 65 into 85. Tell me the answer. Even into even. 25. A into B, 6 8s are 48, 8 plus 6 14, 52 25, 25 into 95, do it orally and tell me, even into odd, this will be 75, 2 9s are 18, 18 plus 11 by 2, 11 by 2 is 5.5, eliminate, 23 75, cut, copy, paste, please make a note. Solve anything, just mug up the formulas. Either 25 or 75. Clear? Now, if you see, can I go ahead? Sir, there is one more example down. You can make a note of it. into a phi. Both a are even. D is 25. A into b. D is a square. Plus 2a by 2. 2a by 2 will become a into a plus 1 25. That is why we are adding 1. Because of it, 20 minutes late. Why we are Next day, he travels at 18 kilometers per hour, reaches 10 minutes early. Every day he is going from home to office. What is the constant? That is the catch. That is the catch. Once you know the constant, Distance is a constant. What do you mean by constant? Constant is nothing but a fixed quantity. Am I right? Constant is nothing but a fixed quantity. Let us fix the quantity. You take any random number that comes into your mind to get the answer in less time. I am taking the LCM of 12 and 18. Since the distance is a constant and it is a fixed quantity, I am taking the LCM. LCM of 12 and 18. What is the LCM? 36. You can take any value, you will get the answer. Please listen, please don't write, sir. Once you understand, then question becomes easier. 36 kilometers. First day he is going at, what is the speed? 12 kilometers per hour. What does that mean? In one hour, 12 kilometers. Am I right? One hour, 12 kilometers. To travel 36 kilometers, how many hours? Second day, how many hours? That means, 36 kilometers he is resulting in a difference in time, one hour, which is 60 minutes. Am I right? Assume that he office at 9 o'clock, 20 minutes late, that means it will be 9.20, 10 minutes early, that means it will be 8.50, 8.50, 9.20, what is the difference? 30 minutes, 60 minutes it is 36, 30 minutes it will be 80, right sir? Now I am here, now the time is 11.10, I came to this auditorium 10 minutes late, it will be 11.20, 10 minutes early, it will be 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, 11.20. What is the difference? 20 minutes. The catch in this question is, step number 1, you need to tell which parameter is a constant. Constant is a fixed quantity. Fix the quantity and find out. Every problem, tell me one problem in time, speed and distance where one parameter is not constant. One parameter has to be constant, then only the problem can be defined. Please go ahead. We will solve 4 to 5 problems. This is the most important important topic for any students aspiring for campus jobs. Arithmetic is the most important topic. 
time speed and distance time and work profit loss and discount simple questions are asked not high level simple questions right now i am telling you it is not about listening in the class you need to go ahead and you need to practice we have given some wonderful material some questions are there please go ahead and keep on solving the questions look at the book and try to solve it orally once you solve 50 problems automatically the confidence comes into your mind right one more question second question also i will explain then third fourth fifth and fifth you need to solve 15 kilo can i go to the next question 15 kilo hour 15 kilometers per hour minutes late 20 kilometers per hour 8 minutes early distance second problem please see here lcm of 15 20 this is where if you are good you will get the answer quickly sir this is 60 kilometers first day 4 hours second day 3 hours difference is 1 hour 1 hour is 60 minutes 60 minutes is 60 km i require 20 answer is 20 already i heard the answer from this side good answer is 20 right now the question may not be late and early it can be late and late it can be early and early. instead of late and early the timing so be given right can i go to the next question next one now next one please don't take it just you need to solve it orally please see the board sir 6 km 13 minutes late 9 km per hour 7 minutes early go ahead just look at the board and solve it just look at the 6 and 9 lcm 18 first day 3 hours second day 2 hours difference is 1 hour 18 is 60 but i need 20 answer is 6 clear right can i change the question please make a note of it sir no discussion if you got a doubt straight away raise your hand and ask me a doubt next one can i go to the next one now next i will change the question 25 kilometers per hour 30 minutes late 50 kilometers per hour 20 minutes late d see here lcm of 25 50 it will be 50 first day 2 hours second day 1 hour difference is 1 hour 1 hour is 60 now the difference will it be 50 or 10 10, 10. 10. so 6 60 is giving me 10 will give me 50 by 6 50 by 6 is 8.33 approximately let him change the question once you are good in concepts whatever he wants to do it let him do it concept remains the same why it is 10 is it clear 9 o'clock it is assume that he is reaching 9 o'clock 30 minutes late 9:30 20 minutes late 9:20 9:30 9:20 what is the difference then clear next one these are all the variations sir shall i go ahead sure. 16 kilometers per hour 9 pm 20 kilometers another variation 20 kilometers per hour 
6 pm. What is the distance? Another variation. 16 kilometers per hour, 9 pm. 20 kilometers per hour, 6 pm. Now again see here. LCM of 16, 20. It is 80. Agreed? 80. First day, how many hours? 5 hours. Second day, how many hours? 4 hours. Difference is 1 hour. 1 hour will give you 80. 9 pm, 6 pm. What is the difference? 3 hours. What is the D? 240. Entire time, speed and distance, time and work is an example of application of LCM. LCM. Right? Now I hear some people talking, sir. Unnecessarily, please don't disturb the entire class. If you got doubt, please raise your hand and ask. Right? Next one. Now, this question, please answer it quickly. It's an example for you, sir. This is 7 pm. Just look at the screen. 25 kilometers per hour. 4 pm. What is the first step? Please respond. 75. First day, 5 hours. Second day, 3 hours. Difference is 2 hours. 2 hours, it is 75. 4 p.m., 7 p.m., 3 hours, how much? Right? You will get the answer. Right? 3 by 2 into 75, 225 by 2, 112.5. Please make a note, sir. Make a note. No formulas from now onwards. Formula is derived from the logic. Logic is never derived from the formula, sir. Clear? It's application. Next, next variety of questions. Next, see here. I have seen most students solving, sir, average speed is 2AB by A plus B. Why do you need to remember the formulas? Go, see, next question. A person going from A to B, 12 kilometers per hour, and he comes back from B to A, 18 kilometers per hour, average speed. In the next session, I will discuss another method. Now, we will stick to this method. I will explain you how the mixtures can be used in average speed. A person travels from A to B at 12 kilometers per hour, B to A at 18 kilometers per hour, average speed. Now, what is constant again? Again, the distance is constant. LCM of 12 and 18, this is 36. First, he is moving from A to B, 36. Next, he is moving from B to A, 36. While moving from A to B, his speed is 12 kilometers per hour, 3 hours. While coming, 2 hours. 72 by 5. Answer is 14.4. Average speed is total distance by total time. 12 and 18, LCM is 36. Going 36, coming 36. While going 3 hours, while coming 2 hours. Let him do any variations. 1 third distance, 2 third distance, half distance, 1 third distance, 1 six. The idea remains same. 14.4. I will tell you another method that is also a very interesting method that we will do it in the next half of today's session. Right? Clear? Now, say this answer. This is 30 kilometers per hour. Coming at 60 kilometers per hour. AB. Average speed. 20 it cannot be, sir. Average it always lies between lowest value and highest value. Uh, 60, 60 while going two hours while coming one hour. 120 by 3. 40. Oh, you took the entire distance to be 60. I think that could be the mistake. 40. Clear? Right? Another variation. First you solve. First attend the class, then solve my notes, then solve the entire book. Next another variation. All the variations I am covering sir, 12 kilometers per hour, one third distance, 18 kilometers, idea is to tell you the same logic, 18 kilometers per hour, two third distance, average speed. Average speed, 
same concept, only thing is that he is not coming back. Am I right? LCM of 12 and 18. This is a 36. So, he is going entire 36. Let me call this point C. One third of D. How much he is covering? 12 divided by 12. Remaining is 24 divided by 18. Average speed is total distance by total time. What is the time taken from A to C? Distance by speed. What is one third of 36? 12. 12 by 12. Anil sir, don't you think the denominator in the fractions it is becoming a difficult? No. There is an another method by mixtures by well you will get the answers orally. That also we will discuss. Just as of now I am telling you the application of LCM. Idea clear? Clear idea? No formula sir. M plus N into AB by MB plus NA. If you are a disciple of Career Launcher Institute then formula should come as the last option. Right, next one. Right, yes, please ask. Repeat. 12 and 18, what is the LCM? 36. Average speed is total distance by total time. Time taken from A to C. Time is nothing but distance by speed. One third D. What is one third of 36? 12. 12 divided by 12. What is the remaining? 24. 24 divided by 18. Clear? Next, one more. Another variation. 10 kilometers per hour. Half a D. 15 kilometers per hour. One third D. 20 kilometers per hour. It's 1 by 6 a day. Average speed. If you want to eliminate the denominator fractions, what is LCM of 10, 15, 20? 60. So totally 60. Half of D, 30 divided by 10. One third, 60, 20 divided by 15. Remaining is 10 divided by 20. Clear? Yes? Next one. Right. See here. A can complete a work in 12 days. Same concept in time and work. B can complete a work in 15 days. A can complete a work in 12 days. B can complete a work in 15 days. A plus B. Again see here, three questions. They both are working. That means some work is there. Work is constant. If something is constant, what is the ideology? LCM. LCM of 12 and 15. 12 and 15 is a 60. Out of 60 units of work, A in one day, he will do 5 units. Because 12 days, 60 units, one day 5. We will do 4. They both are working together. Right? First one, next, another variation. A 10. A can complete a work in 10 days. B 20 days. C 30 days. A plus B plus C. Yes. 60 divided by 6 plus Oh, 6 plus 3 plus 2. 60 by 11. Your answer is right. My question is wrong. Just joking, sir. 60 by 11. Clear? Next one. Two people extended to three people. Next one. One one model, one one problem I am solving. So that A plus B. Put a star mark on this question, sir. A plus B. 15 days, B plus C, 20 days, A plus C, 30 days, A alone, how much? Similarly, B alone, how much? 
C alone also it can be done. B is to 5. First step. B is to C equivalent to 2 is to 7. C is to D equivalent to 1 is to 4. I need A is to B is to C is to D. Again two examples. A is to B is 3 is to 5. B is to C is 2 is to 7. C is to D is 1 is to 4. I need the compound ratio of A, B and C and D. Listen carefully. In A, B, C and D, what is the first term? A. To get the first term, multiply all the first terms. 3, 2 are 6. 6, 1 are 6. What is the last term in A, B, C, D? D. To get the last term, take the last term. What is 5, 7 are 35? 35, 4 are 140. To get the first term, multiply the first terms. To get the last term, multiply the last terms. Step 1 clear? Step 2. Please see the screen. Originally, now what is the next value I need to determine? B. Am I right? A is to B. Compare with the original A is to B. Originally, what is the value? 3. Now, what, what if became 6? How many times? 2 times. So, 2, 5 are 10. Next is B is to C. Compare with original B is to C. Originally, what is the value? 2. How much it became right now? 10. 5 times. 7, 5 are 35. 7, 5 are 35. Again, I am repeating C here. If once I got 6, next value is B. A is to B. Compare with original A is to B. Originally, the value is 3. Now, it is 6. What is that? How many times? 2 times. 5, 2s are how much it is? 10. Next is C. Originally, it is 2. Now, it is 10. 5 times. 7, 5s are 35. Right? One more example. A is to B is 5 is to 7. B is to C is 3 is to 4. C is to D is 1 is to 2. A is to B is to C is to D. Tell me what is A? 5 3s are 15, 15 1s are 15. What is D? 7 4s are 28, 28 2s are 56. I got A. Originally, a is 5, 5 3 is 15, 7 3 is 21. B is originally 3, now 21, 7, 7 4 is 28. Clear? The compound ratio of A, B, C and D. Which one? Clear? Can I go to the next one? Right. Now, next, its application. See, please write down a question. In a 100 meter race, in a 100 meter race, a beats B by 20 meters. B beats C by 25 meters. A beats C by how much? A beats C by how much? In a 100 meter race, A beats B. Again, two examples, see here. In a 100 meter race, A beats B by 20 meters. That what do you mean by beating B? That means if A runs the entire 100, B will run only 80. Agreed? So A is to B is, A is 100 where B is only 80. 25 is 24 sir. B is to C. If B runs the entire 100, B will beat C by 25. That means C will only 75. Agreed? So this will become 4 is to 3. Anyway, right? So, A is to B is to C. What, what is the? 5 fours are 20. D is 16 and D is 12. Agreed? Compound ratio. Just now we did. To get the first term, multiply the first terms. To get the last term, multiply. Clear? What do you mean by 20 is to 60 is to 12? That means in a 20 meter race, A will beat C by. If A runs 20, C will run how many meters? 12 meters. That means A will beat C by 8 meters. But I need the question for 100. 8 5s are 40. 8 5s are 40. Compound ratio application. Clear? One more example. One more example. Clear? Not this one, not this one, this one. 20 is to 60 is to 12. 
what does that mean if a runs 20 c can only run 12 meters that means a will beat c by 8 meters if in a 20 meter race a will beat c by 8 meters i don't need 20 meters according to the question it is 100 meters proportionally clear one more now don't worry even first question is not clear there will be one more question parallel questions in a 200 meter race in a 200 meter race a beats b by 40 meters in a 150 meter race b beats c by 30 meters in a 100 meter race in a 100 meter race a beats b by how much a beats C by how much? 56. Right? Those who understood, please go ahead and solve. A beats B. That means if A runs 200, B will run only 160. Agreed? So this will become 5 is to 4. B beats C. If B runs 150, this will run only 120. D is 5 is to 4, right? A is to B is to C. This will become 25 is to 20 is to 16. That means in a 25 meter race, A will beat C by 9 meters. But I don't need 25 meters. Answer is 36. I need 100, sir. 25 fours are 100, 9 fours are 36. Clear logic? Application of compound ratio in linear races, clear? Right, next one, another variety in ratios. Where is the doubt, sir, ask? First step doubt, where is the voice coming from? If A runs 200, A will beat B by 40. D is 160, clear? D is 5 is to 4, 45s are 44s are. B is to C, if B runs 150, B will beat C by 30. So this will be 120. Clear? 5 is to 4. 5 fives are 25. 5 5 4 5s are 20. 4 fours are. In a 25 meter race, A will beat C by 9 meters. But I know, don't need 25 meters. I need 100 meters. Clear? Next to variety. 3A equivalent to. 3A equivalent to. 5B equivalent to. 7C equivalent to 2D. A is to B is to C is to D. 3A equivalent to 5B equivalent to 7C equivalent to 2D. Don't worry about it, sir. Please concentrate on the screen. 3A is 5B equivalent to 2, 7C equivalent to 2D. A is to B is to C is to D. Very simple technique. See here. To get A, close A and multiply the remaining. 5 7s are 35, 35 2s are 70. To get B, close B. 3 7s are 21, 21 2s are 42. Whatever variable you need, other than that, remaining all multiply. Simple technique. To get C, close C. 3 5s are 15, 15 2s are 30. To get D, close D. What will be the answer? 3 5s are 15, 15 7 2s are 105. One more example, 9A equivalent to 5B equivalent to 2C equivalent to 4D. A is to B is to C is to D. What is A? 5 twos are 10, 10 fours are 40. To get B, 9 twos are 18, 18 fours are 72. To get C, 9 fives are 45, fours are 180. To get D, 45 twos are 90. If you can further multiply, please do it. 220, 236 are, 290 is are, 245 sir. Clear? Two varieties. Right? Now, next variety. In ratios only. See here. Walking at 3 by 4th of usual speed. Please write down the question. 
walking at 3 by 4th of the usual speed, a person reaches office 10 minutes late. A person reaches office 10 minutes late. Find the actual time he takes to reach the office. This model is also very important. Walking at 3 by 4 of the usual speed, a person reaches office 10 minutes late. Find the actual time he takes to reach the office. Question clear, right? Now, again see, two problems. Listen carefully. Distance is nothing but speed into time. Speed according to the question is 3 by 4. Speed and time are inversely proportional to each other. Agreed? What is the inverse of 1 by 2? 2 by 1. What is the inverse of 3 by 4? 4 by 3. Agreed? What do you mean by 4 by 3? Instead of reaching office at 3 minutes, now he reached office at how many minutes? 4 minutes, which is nothing but 1 minute late. Agreed? I don't want 1 minute. According to the question, 10 minutes. 1 answer is 30. Distance is speed into time. Speed is 3 by 4. Speed and time are inversely proportional. Time will become 4 by 3. 4 by 3 means instead of reaching office at 3 minutes, now he reached office 4 minutes. That means he is late by 1 minute. According to the question, it is not late by 1 minute. He is 10 minutes late. Right? Please don't use any X and Y unless and until it is needed. Next one. Walking at, one more parallel question for understanding. Walking at 5 by 7 of the usual speed. A person reaches office 12 minutes late. 12 minutes late. Find the actual time. I find the actual time. Concept. D equal to S into T. Speed is 5 by 7. That means time will become 7 by 5. Instead of reaching at 5 minutes, now he is reaching at 7 minutes. That means he is late by 2 minutes. I don't need 2 minutes late. I need 12. 2 6 are 12, 6 5 are 30. Perfect square. Perfect square never ends with. Perfect square never ends with. 2, 3, 7 or 8. Very, very important point. Perfect square never ends with 2, 3, 7 or 8. Now, why we will see the proof? Any unit digit of a number, any unit digit will range from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Agreed? 0 square is 0. 1 square is 1. 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25. If you observe any number after squaring, am I getting 2 at the end? 3 at the 7 square 49, 8 square 64, 9 square 81. Any perfect square? Perfect square. Does it end with 2, 3, 7 or 8? No. Perfect square never ends with 2, 3, 7 or 8. Please write down. Perfect square never ends with 2, 3, 7 or 8. Clear? Now what we will do is, we will take a one previous year CRT question and we will use this concept and tell how we can go able to solve the question. Please write down this question. Find the number of, find the number of integral solutions for x square plus y square equal to 3, 4, 7, 9, x less than 100, x belongs to natural number how much? x square plus y square equal to 3, 4, 7, 9, x less than 100, x belongs to natural number, how much? Now, before solving that question, see this example. If I were to ask you, is 5, 6, 7, 3, 2 a perfect square? Is it a perfect square? No, because it is ending with 2. Agreed? Now, if you see, let us use that carry forward of this logic. x square plus y square equal to 3, 4, 7, 9. What is the unit digit in the right hand side? 9. Can I say this unit digit can be 1, this unit digit can be 8 and vice versa. Agreed? 1 plus 8 is 9 or 8 plus 1 is 9. But y square is a perfect square. Does it end with 8? Next one. What is the next case? 2 plus 7. Does a perfect square end with 2 or 7? Next one. 3 plus 6. Does a perfect square end with 3 or 6? 
Next one, 4 or 5. Yes, perfect square and divided with 4 or 5. It goes back to what we discussed in the first half. Any perfect square ending with 4, 10 digit is even. Do you agree? 8 square is 64. 12 square is 144. We discussed it, right? Any perfect square ending with 5, 10 digit is 2. Agreed? 5 square 25. 15 square 225. 4 plus 5 is 9. What is the nature of 10 digit? What is even plus even? Even. What is the 10 digit? Answer is 0. Understood the beauty of this concept?